Hey there, my name is Brandon Betcher. I'm a captain with Test Corners Fire Department located in Muskego, Wisconsin. We're about 20 miles southwest of the city of Milwaukee. We're up at Pierce today on the blue floor checking out, checking out our final inspection for our 2021 Pierce Ascendant 100 foot mid-mount tower ladder. This is gonna be our eighth frontline Pierce apparatus that we've purchased through Reliant Fire Apparatus out of Wisconsin. We chose to go with the mid-mount tower ladder for a couple of reasons. One of them being the shorter turning radius, the short scrub length for the ladder in case we have to effect a rescue, and due to the compartment space and cab configuration that we currently run on most of our Pierce apparatus right now, being the Velocity chassis. The truck is equipped with a 600 horsepower Cummins motor, Allison transmission, and the TAC4 suspension to keep consistent with our whole uh, fleet. We chose to go with the extended front bumper on our truck to move the Federal Q siren from the grill down to the bumper and make room for the road array. We have the same mirrors on this truck as we do all of our other trucks to keep uh, driver consistency. This truck is equipped with a full 360 degree camera system, uh, one on each side of the front, uh, front corners here one on each outrigger, as well as one on the back of the truck that are all communicated through this screen inside for allow the driver to have uh, good vision all the way around the truck. One of the design changes we made on this truck is we incorporated a compartment just for the driver's gear and equipment, being his air pack, his radio, flashlight, in this case, it'll keep all of his equipment up off the floor or out of taking up compartment space on the rest of the truck. Also new to this truck, new to our department, is our cab configuration. We, gone, we have gone with five seats total in the truck, uh, three on the back wall instead of the traditional six seats, two rear facing, two forward facing. We've incorporated the, the EMS cabinet on the front side of the truck instead of the back wall. By going with the extended cab length, we were able to add a compartment here to hold our water cans, fire extinguishers, as well as our uh, New York hooks. A special addition we added was an extra divider for our crosslay trays. This will allow us to do two pre-piped crosslays for inch and three-quarter attack lines, as well as we're planning to use the middle space for a two and a half dead load for water supply or uh, fire attack if needed. Instead of going the traditional mounting route that we've done in all of our other trucks, we incorporated this three drawer toolbox to keep everything organized and in one place, easy to find. Instead of putting the wheel chocks beneath the truck that collects that Wisconsin winter road grime, we've incorporated them into above the wheel wells, making use of the most space as possible. as well as our center compartment here holds three SCBA bottles uh, per side. We've customized our shelving layout to all of our equipment specifically that's gonna go in this truck. A lot of planning went into it. Uh, and one thing we added was this little giant versatile ladder. As you can see, our compartment configuration is set up perfect. This one's gonna be a possible extrication compartment, hold our hydraulic tools as well as some cribbing and other things. These pull-out tool boards will help with keeping all of our hand tools in one place, easily accessible, and also allowed us to get the most out of our compartmentation. We were able to customize this cabinet door to open almost all the way to make uh, accessibility to our tools easier. A couple of things unique about the rear end of our truck 
is that we've incorporated our high school logo on each side of our bucket, as well as our full length mud flap to support our high school and our community. A custom addition that we did to our ladder tray in our torque box is we've added a pull out tray that will hold uh, water supply hoses as well as our hotel packs or our reduced lines. We decided to go with a 6KW generator for our truck. Uh, it allows us to al operate more of our scene lighting as well as gives us power, both shoreline and generator power in each of our compartments. Uh, this particular compartment is going to be used for our saws as well as our battery operated tools. This compartment is going to be used to hold all of our RIT, uh, RIT equipment, our rapid intervention team equipment, as well as uh, the accessories for our bucket in case we have to effect a rescue using a Stokes basket. We were able to incorporate these over the wheel well compartments to hold uh, additional fire extinguishers as well, trying to make use of all the space possible. Our department uses the blowhard uh, positive pressure electric fans and this compartment's been configured to hold three uh, positive pressure fans and then pow a power strip on the very top to charge them all at all times. One thing we chose to incorporate with this truck is the officer's side switch panel on the top. It allows us to operate scene lights, our siren brake, as well as be able to reach the radio up in the middle. We've incorporated our scene light switches for the driver to operate, the officer to operate, as well as we put switches on our pump panel as well. So in case you get out of the truck, forget to turn on scene lighting, it's easily accessible. We've chosen to go with an all Whalen lighting package on this truck, as well as a mixture of Whalen and Fire Research Company scene lighting. A majority of the scene lighting are 12 volt capable, push button, anytime. Some of our scene lighting on the back of the truck we had to run off the generator due to the voltage draw, but still all easily able to be turned on with the push buttons on the dash. We chose to not go with any additional side light bars or anything on the roof, so we had a lower overhead clearance for the ladder, so we chose to incorporate these Whalen M6s up incorporated into the body line to act as a light bar and give us additional side warning. Our truck committee would like to thank the citizens of Muskego and our department leadership for allowing us to purchase this versatile and very useful piece of equipment to serve us well into our future. Um, we're lucky enough that this is going to be the first Pierce Ascendant Midmount Aerial delivered in the state of Wisconsin and we hope to have it in, in service soon.